careful in sexuality. Don't just sleep around with just anybody. You know, it's not possible for somebody like you to do that anymore. You understand? Yes. Be, be careful how you... with whom you engage. What are the energies of the other person? Did you feel the energy leaving the system, moving out of the head? No, it's... it's in it. It's still inside? Yes. Yeah, maybe it will slowly quiet down because you've come here, I guess, and start to move laterally. It would be new because I've never had someone who's not my student mm. with whom this has happened. So just keep us informed. Yes. Huh? How long are you here in Rishikesh? Um, seven days. Again, okay, still. so you come yes. whenever you can. And don't do all those practices, really, because you're messing around with something and the Sad part is that those teachers that start to meddle with the Kundalini and Avik, they don't know how to quiet it down afterwards. They don't know what to do. And then the people are in that state and then they are alone in this world with neurological disorders, massive pain in the system, blinding headaches. What is your profession? What do you do for I a living? <clears throat> I do music, I do music videos. Just also when you're doing music, try not to go into like blissing out stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Just be present, keep your eyes open when you're making music, try not to close the eyes. But this was preventing me from singing for like a year or so. Now you'll be able to sing, mm -hmm. but piano, piano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, namaskar. According to his uh, question, just to understand, you told him to use the sexuality in a more careful way. Yes. And I'm trying to understand that why you told him. So what is the process what he's going through? He did some practices which disturbed the Shakti. Kundalini Shakti is actually a force that lies at the base of the spinal cord and this force is actually there in order to support the system through a lifetime by releasing energy whenever the system is in trauma whether it is physical trauma whether it is emotional trauma or conceptual trauma or creative trauma, transformative trauma. So, what happens is that when one tries to disturb this Shakti, to make it move and to create the experience of going into enlightenment or into dissolution of identity states, it starts to revolt against the system, which results in extreme sensitizing of the very senses themselves which makes the whole body even more sensitive than it normally is. When a person is actually in a sexual experience with another person, it's not just about the emotional connect and about the conceptual connect, it's a very material connect as well, it's physical. So, there is an exchange of energy which happens between the two bodies. Because his system is sensitized, because of this movement of a energy, like it's a thousand atomic splittings, you cannot even imagine how powerful that Shakti is. So, if he is in a connect with a female whose system is not quiet, in the area of the energetics, it can impact the energetics in his system. So if he just goes around just sleeping with anyone around without first figuring out who that person actually is and what is the energy in that person and if it really matches with him, then it might lead to a sudden movement in the... <laughs> and it won't be as simple as this, that's for sure. That's why I said he should be more careful even. And it is any difference if he's sleeping with men? 
there is a difference because a woman's womb has a much larger area of energy holding capacity plus a female with all that emotional activity which is more active since of course a female has to raise a child she's larger in that area already there's more happening thank you